Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team, and today I'm going to talk about how to sell a home that needs work. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thank you so much for watching. You know, one of the frequent questions I get is, I don't really want to do a lot of work to my house, so how can I sell it just as is? So the selling process obviously in today's market is a little different than it has been in the past. And it becomes even more challenging when you have noticeable problems with a property in the equation. So inventory has been increasing and buyers have more options to choose from. So a home that needs more repairs may not be a buyer's first choice. And for those who are interested in purchasing, they might make an offer that's less than what you ultimately want to sell it for. So the secret is this, to sell a fixer upper, there's three main things that we do. One is absolutely get a home inspection. Now we already know that the home is in rough shape, but we don't exactly know what extent. There may be things that we cannot see, and there are things that may not be as worse, as bad as we think that they are. So the home inspector is gonna give us a complete rundown of all the items of the home. <clears throat> and once we've identified what has to be fixed, we can evaluate if there's things that need to be repaired or replaced, or we just sell it as is. Also remember that we have to disclose the issues of home and it's required. So this way we can be as transparent as possible to avoid any kind of legal repercussions and really the buyers like having this information up front. The other option is to consider selling the home to an investor or a bargain hunter. Now the worse the home's condition is, the bigger the pool of the investment buyers will be. So there are a lot of people who specifically just look for fixer upper type properties. They want to repair it and upgrade it so then they can sell it and earn a profit. Typically, they're going to pay with cash and buy the home as is. Bargain hunters, on the other hand, are in search of their dream homes. They're willing to put in the elbow grease needed to make a property livable and overlook those few flaws as long as they love the location. <clears throat> now, the third tip is being realistic with the price. So whatever market we're in, pricing the home correctly will always be critical. This is especially true for homes that are not in the best condition. You have to set a reasonable price, one that is based on our research and makes sense for today's market. The best way to do this is to work with a real estate professional like myself. An experienced agent can use their resources and connections to make sure you're getting the best possible deal for your sale. If you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out and you can reach me at 562 3162915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thank you so much for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends. Thank you so much.